Recognized as a family and as governor of Delta State, that for all the grace of God in the past year and for whatever achievements that we have made, that it is necessary to return to the house of God to say thank you, Lord, for that which He has done for us. Because in so doing, we are asking for greater and further blessings. There is no doubt that since 2015 that we came on board, the hands of God has been very strong in this state and in the government of Delta State. Because I have reason to look back onto the first day that I had in office and the troubles that I had in my heart when I was briefed about the situation of the state. And going thus far, I don't need any man to convince me that the hands of God has been strong and that God has been merciful and gracious unto us as a people, as a government, and as a state. If we rest our faith in God, we'll be able to do all things. We'll be able to touch the lives of people. We'll be compassionate and we'll show empathy. And when you're able to show all this and to realize that in governance, until you touch the lives of the people to the best of the ability that God has given you and within the will of God you have done nothing. If you realize that, then the purpose of governance is fulfilled. A life in governance without God is a governance that is for self and not for the people. I want to use this opportunity to appeal 
to all of us who are in government, whether you're in the executive arm, whether you're in the legislature, the judiciary, and our fathers in the law who pray for us, and our fathers, the traditional rulers who help us to oversee the various kingdoms. We need to pay special attention to the things of God. And if we are to succeed, we must abide in God. Pray with us, pray for us. Pray about the state. And I know that God will give each and every one of us a leading. So what I pray people to do for me is not to come to tell me, Dr. Kowa, this is the best. This one would not be the best to take over your post. But pray that God will cause his will to be revealed to me. That's the greatest justice that you can do to our people. Pray for me. I require all the prayers so that I'll go in the right direction. Because if God points to a particular direction and I miss the track, may God forbid that. Obviously, it will not be well that there is no reason why I would not continue to trust in the Lord my God. Because it is He that reveals himself unto his saints. Saints this way does not mean that the person is righteous. Righteousness only comes from God. It is by his mercy. So pray for me that God will cause his revelation and that I will have the will to obey God rather than obey man. That I know also that the God I serve will cause his revelation to come to me continually. So when I tell people I'm praying, and truly and genuinely speaking the truth, because people take it as all politics. It's not all politics. The person who will succeed me by the special grace of God, it will not be by my power, but by the power of God. Must be one before this altar I speak that will keep the fire in this altar glowing. why who is a leader is very important that is why we emphasize that the leader must be somebody who knows the way and is able to take people even through that way Ezekiel did not argue Ezekiel was not between and betwixt Ezekiel made an exclamation oh Lord God thou knowest thank God he didn't speak in the negative you find that the negative speaking can abort miracles. It can prevent what God wants to do. If you go to Mark chapter 6 verse 5, you find that when Jesus even went to his own place, after performing many miracles in places, he couldn't do much in his own place because of unbelief. We thank God that Ezekiel said something, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and so to them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Brethren, when the days prophecy should come to bear, when things are difficult, child of God, is the time to prophesy, to speak the word of God concerning situation. Even when you are not seeing it, oh, the just shall live by faith.